Okay, I'm back to talk about the Minnesota Timberwolves, who even though they've been the worst team for most of the year, they actually aren't anymore. They're now only the second to worst team uh, in the NBA. It's definitely been just fun for me to monitor uh, the growth that they've had. And I have feel like ever since they've gotten healthy, that they've looked like a significantly better team and have shown some... Th- Uh, signs that could be good going forward for this roster they have some core building blocks that I do really like on this team obviously we know about Carl Anthony Towns D'Angelo Russell uh, and Anthony Edwards but I want to get into a guy who I think could be a very very important part of this roster going forward and that is Jaden McDaniels he was a prospect I was super interested in coming out of the draft as I thought he was a very very high ceiling guy but there were some clear concerns at Washington when Whether it be him having some concerns about off-the-court stuff, at a certain point he got benched, and uh, there was definitely just other concerns as well, where he didn't play super great on the court. He was a guy who loved tough shots, which caused him to be much more inefficient than he should have been. Though he had defensive potential, he was still very, very skinny, which he is uh, as he's gone into the NBA as well. He'll probably grow into a much stronger body at some point, but he's still a pretty skinny dude. And even though he did have that defensive potential due to his length, him being 6'9", and just super rangy and athletic, athletic uh he he wasn't always locked in on that side of the ball but he's really crafted himself out a very nice role for the minnesota timberwolves and has filled a role that i think they needed desperately which was versatility at the forward position and a good defensive forward alongside carl anthony towns he's a guy who's been fantastic on the defensive side of the ball as a rookie he's all over the place can guard multiple position it's very, very good shot blocker as well and just uses all that size that he has to his full advantage. So that's been nice to see. He shot the ball well this year too. I mean, he hasn't shot a, like crazy, but 37% on 3.1 attempts as a guy who's only 20, uh, 20 years old. That's really nice. And I think this is a super great core building block for them to have going forward and fits the style of play they should have going forward, which is getting guys alongside Cat and D Low who can be good on the defensive side of the ball while bringing some offensive prowess because it's basically what Jarrett Culver was supposed to be. Obviously, two very different players, but the same type of role where it was supposed to be a very good defensive player who was still going to be good enough on offense where he would be a great piece alongside the guys that they already had. But Jarrett Culver kind of flopped, even though he was a good defender, a uh, solid playmaker, and I do think he could still turn his career around, whether it be with this team or another team, just due to how much he struggled on the offensive side of the ball, especially when it comes down to shooting-wise. He was really 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 uh poor and has just been super up and down confidence has definitely struggled but i think someone like jane mcdaniels is a perfect piece for them going forward jalen noel i love as a potential just guy who could come off the bench and give him buckets for years uh, and years to come i think he could be an amazing six man for them he's only 20 one years old, only in his second season, and he hasn't gotten really that many minutes. He's only playing about 19 minutes a game, but I do like some of the just flashes that I've seen from him as a scorer off the bench and someone who could bring some energy and be a bit of a spark plug. Uh, I think he could be another nice long-term piece, and I think there is enough talent when you're looking at the top guys on this roster, especially their quote-unquote big three, where as long as you can surround them with role players like Jaden McDaniels, Jalen Noel, Those type of guys are going to be vital to them having success going forward. These are the type of guys you need on this roster. You don't need anything special. Now, obviously, you want to keep your top three overall pick. Obviously, it would be great if they could still get the first pick and get Cade Cunningham, who could be a star. But in my opinion, the most important thing that this team needs to do going forward is land their later draft picks and make smart free agency decisions. Because that is something that they haven't really done for a while now. The organization as a whole has been a bit of a mess. But if you could just make savvy, smart moves and get guys who could be impactful, even if they're not uh, star players or anything, that would be important. Someone like Jared Vanderbilt, that's another guy, defensive forward, brings nice energy, good uh, bench guy, 
Uh, at least he should be going forward. Nas Reed, I love at the backup center position as he's a pretty skilled offensive player who can shoot the ball decently for a center and overall just has a nice offensive package that he does bring to the game. Another nice guy to bring off that bench, even if he isn't the greatest defender. Far from a perfect player, but I do like what he can bring. And then we get into this potential big three and what is really, really their core. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, even though I'm not a big D'Angelo, Russell guy and I feel like he's properly rated now but at certain points especially in these past couple of years I feel like he was super overrated uh, but he's been really solid for them this year and especially ever since he's come back from injury he's looked real real good and I do think especially when both of those guys with uh, D'Angelo Russell and Carl Anthony Towns are out there that's such a dynamic offensive duo with both of their uh, abilities on the offensive side of the ball because they are such dynamic players and a pick and roll slash pick and pop with those two guys is great D'Angelo Russell has some clear issues with his game I feel like he doesn't get to the basket nearly enough and even when he's getting to the basket it's a lot of floaters which he's fantastic at uh, but he doesn't really draw contact that much and that's why he's always gotten uh, not many free throws throughout his careers that's just not really his play style but he's going to be a guy who I think fits alongside Cat very well even though you'd want him to be better on defense uh you kind of just have to accept it at this point with them trading for him uh, but he'll be good for them he just needs to focus on shooting the ball well playmaking and being a floor general for this team I think that is very important for D'Angelo Russell to do Anthony Edwards while being up and down this season for sure it's been far from perfect with Anthony Edwards he's been fantastic as of late he's still gonna have his streaky games where he's shooting bad and I knew that coming into the season with Anthony Edwards Anthony Edwards was a prospect I was pretty mixed on just due to the fact that he was an up and down guy who had certain flashes that were fantastic and also certain flashes that looked like he was the next Dion Waiters. Uh, but he's definitely shown more next Victor Aldipo, Donovan Mitchell, uh, the Dion Waiters, which is a nice thing to see. And the thing about uh, Anthony Edwards that I've been so impressed with is just how high his peaks have been because I knew it was going to be up and down but just the highs have been so much higher than I've expected like he's having a months where he's averaging over 20 he's averaging like 25 a game in certain months and he's even up to 18 on the season uh, I think the thing that really just puts it all together for Anthony Edwards is how consistent he can become from outside as a three-point shooter because he definitely shows the confidence from out there though that ability to hit those step back tough off the dribble three uh, is something that if he can really get that into his bag, I mean, he's going to become one of the best scorers that this league has to offer, especially when we're talking about young guys, because he's really putting together, getting to the rim, drawing free throws much more than he was earlier on in the season. Uh, and I do think he has room to improve on defense as well. Uh, that's a place where I think his athletic tools that he has, if he really does lock in on that side of the ball, which I hope he does in his career, he can become a fantastic defender. That's just more about effort than anything. But his offense is really coming along. Uh, that confidence is paying off for him because he's got the skills to match it. He's going to be up and down probably throughout his entire career. I feel like he's always going to be a bit of a streaky guy. Uh, but he's been real, real good as of late, and I love all the things I've seen from Edwards. I mean, hes I still don't think he's the best player in this class or anything, but that isn't to hate on Edwards at all. Edwards is a fantastic player, and even if he ends up always being the number two guy behind LaMelo Ball in that draft class, I don't think that's a problem because I think LaMelo Ball is a future superstar. Anthony Edwards is still a real, real special player who's had so many fantastic moments that show crazy potential out of him and I think he's going to be an amazing player in this league and Carl Anthony Towns who's obviously the star of this franchise and what everything runs through has been fantastic as of recent he's playing some of the best basketball of his entire career recently and I absolutely have loved to see it because I feel like they're finally revolving their offense totally around Carl Anthony Towns and what he does they're running a ton of handoff plays a ton of action through him I love the action that they run uh, at the elbow with him whether it be a handoff running pick and rolls it just seems to be super successful because Carl Anthony Towns is one of the most talented offensive bigs we've uh, scene of all time he's the greatest uh, three-point shooting center ever he's such a fantastic playmaker as well which is so underrated bro 
Carl Anthony Towns is one of the best playmaking centers in the NBA, yet gets no credit for that aspect of his game. The thing is, he averages 4.6 assists, which is already a really uh, good number for a center, especially considering just the gravity as a whole he brings to the game. But when you consider how many of these potential assists he could have, but his teammates are just missing shots, that makes it even better. One of the best post scorers in the league, one of the best rebounders. I mean, he's really just becoming the complete package. Defense obviously still is far from perfect, but he's been better this year, which is all I need from Cat. If Cat is average on defense, I mean, this dude is undeniably one of the best players in the NBA as long as he's average on defense. I just hope he can stay on the floor because the weird thing about Cat is he was such an Iron Man throughout his first couple years. Uh, played 82 games his first three seasons, only missed five in 2019, and then he's just gotten super unlucky with so much different stuff, whether it be on or off the court. So hopefully he could stay on the floor because he's so fun to watch, and he's gone really underrated just because he's been with a poor Timberwolves team. Uh, but the future of this team really just depends on this pick. It's so interesting for them how this draft lottery is going to play out. And that is the biggest night that will happen for the Timberwolves in the next five to seven years is how those ping pong balls bounce because that could either make them a future very good team, obviously dependent on the moves that they make. They have to make smart, savvy moves, but they're going in the right direction. So I'm going to at least trust them to make good enough moves. But how those ping pong balls bounce and if they could land that top three pick to potentially get another piece to the young core, whether that be Cade Cunningham, who I think would be fantastic for them, whether that be Jonathan Kaminga, who is a bit of a project, but I think would be the best fit with that team and would bring such crazy defensive versatility. Him alongside Jaden McDaniels? Come on. That would be one of the... Uh, and then obviously you got Cat. That would be one of the brightest young front courts in the league. If you can get just something like that to help this roster, man, oh man, is it going to be looking real good for them? But we'll just have to see what happens on the draft lottery night. I think they have a really bright future, but it's all dependent on that one night, and it's all dependent on them making good decisions. I think they got a good new head coach in Chris Finch. Uh, I think they've made some savvy, smart moves recently. You just got to continue to go on that upward trajectory, even though you're one of the worst teams. Hopefully they can land that pick because I want to see every team be successful, but I got a lot of guys on this roster that I really do enjoy watching. So I especially want to see the Timberwolves be successful. And I think there is a blueprint there. You just got to hope you get lucky on draft lottery night.